Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Yoji and I'm continuously going to show you how you can build your brand and build your personal brand around it more efficiently with the best AI tools out there. And this week I want to introduce you to a tool called Tapilo. Whoopsie, yeah, well I just said Tapilo, it's obviously Taplio. So <laughs> let's move on. So Tapilo is a LinkedIn AI co-pilot that helps you create content, that helps you have an easier time reach out to people, an easier time to engage, follow other people, and therefore build up your LinkedIn profile. So I was a little bit on the fence about this video, to be honest, because I don't want to be contributing to the amount of trash that is going around on social media and LinkedIn and specifically for this content. And uh, before we talk about features of this, I just would love to encourage everyone who's listening to this to say, even though the program that I'm about to show you is able to create 30 posts for you every day and blast people and then spam them with all kinds of stuff that you would like to sell to them. Please don't use it that way. That is not the intention that I have. All the tools that we are featuring in this channel are, first of all, not paid by. These are all researched by myself and from our team. I've used every single tool that we're supporting on this channel. I simply believe that if you have a good message, if you have a purpose of your business, if your brand has a mission, has a vision, and you're using social media and LinkedIn to support those goals and those visions, then I believe Tapilo can really help you stay more consistent and simply help you create content around your product, your service, your brand, and everything that you want to do. So please don't just blindly copy stuff that goes for everything else. And please don't spam people. And just please put a little bit more effort than Tapilo makes it look like it is possible. That said, let's jump one time into the tool. So this is a Tapilo website. And as it states, you can grow your personal brand on LinkedIn. This is really specifically just for LinkedIn. There are no other tools connected here. It states that you can have AI picked inspiration. That's great. AI generated posts. I'm not a huge fan of that idea um, of taking it at least as is. I think you should always put your own spin on it and connect it with ideas that you came up with based on your experience and your skill set. You can interact with viral posts. I think that is pretty useful and then kind of like make content around latest industry news. If you're in a tech industry, for example, that is pretty useful to not scatter through Twitter and uh, all kind of news sources and kind of like try to make your own image and, and perception out of what is happening right now. This is a paid software. I think uh, it costs somewhere between 25 or 50 bucks per month, so almost the same amount of money that you would pay for LinkedIn Premium. Let's just jump one time into tool and I'll show you how it looks like. Here on the left, you have a toolbar. You have a writer post uh, that is the exact same thing as you would do it with LinkedIn. You have your queue. So basically, when you create a post, it would come up here. I think with the lowest version that you can purchase, you can. it's recommended to post two times a day to achieve the maximum amount of uh, engagement that you would like to have. You can install a Chrome extension you can have like statuses and reports based on your actions. Okay, so quickly coming to the part that most of you are probably here for is that the AI generators. So AI generators is like a chat GPT style written content blog creation program based on your profile, based on your presets, based on the information that you have put in Tapilo. And when my role is to connect businesses, to help businesses build brands, and to also teach other people how to use AI in the most efficient way to help their businesses grow, AI has generated posts like why authenticity matters in business and the art of networking beyond the business card, the art of delegation, a game changer for entrepreneurs. And I'm not going to read through this. I, I don't think they're generally the greatest posts, they're quite lengthy, um, but this kind of stuff works on LinkedIn and Tapilo knows that. AI generated for me hasn't worked out so 
so well. I, I must be honest with you. That's the part I, I have not used at all. I uh, tried many different times to regenerate and uh, try different versions of it. But there's also post generator and hook generator. Just to go over post generator, you can say like, hey, we want to do the top tools for, I don't know, web design. Just to, you can type in whatever you like, obviously. But if that's one of the examples, it will scatter and, and search through LinkedIn, what's trending, what people are following. And based on that, it will create like a top tools for web design for you. Again, I'm, I'm a little bit on the fence of how useful this is in terms of positioning you as the as the thought leader at the, as the expert in your industry because most of the times the tools that will be showing here are probably well known and you will just repeating that on the other hand that's the point of being on linkedin right to to connect with people that probably don't know the same topic it's done now. It took about 15 seconds. We have our post here that says the ultimate toolkit for web designers. Number one, Adobe XT. Number two, Sketch. Number three, Webflow. Four, Figma, Envision Studio, etc. And based on my web design experience, that's a pretty good list. I mean, I would, I, I like Webflow more, so I would put that up, but that is just a personal opinion. And I think that's exactly the part that I, you know, would like to emphasize at every stage on this video is to say, if your personal opinion is that you believe Webflow is the best tool for web designing in general, then you should definitely put that on top, right? And you should also definitely not take the entire copy, but maybe, you know, just put it down to one sentence, delete the entire description in general and write your two cents at the end of this list, right? I think putting your own voice and tone and a little bit more authenticity to these like very generative posts will in the end give you the chance to connect with people just on a slightly deeper level than just pushing out generative content like all other trash producing content maker out there, right? And I think like this tool just lets you be part of the mass production chain that is happening right now. I have made 20 to 30 posts with this tool and not even once I've just taken it like this. And think about it like, okay, if I'm a web designer, I want to talk about teach other people how, how to do better web designs. Is it more important that I share them with this cool list that uh, is a pretty good summary of people that are just starting and are still exploring tools? Yes, it is. Is it a very like descriptive list that uh, you can get anywhere else? Yeah, it is as well. The only way for this content to be turned into good content is if you leave your two cents at the end or at the beginning of your post and uh, really make it your kind of content. Give it your opinion. Tell them why Webflow is the best. Tell them why you don't like Sketch. Tell them why you don't like X, Y, and Z. And then you give your opinion and then it starts suddenly becomes an authentic piece of content and you're not just trashing the social media world through with more clutter and, and, and distraction that everyone can read anywhere. I, as all of our videos, I'm not trying not to make this too extensive, but I wanted to show you two more things. So viral content is one that basically it scans content that have been trending now and years ago. So you can see here that basically this trend of like, this is a 2020 trend, 2020 post that, that went viral in whatever industry or group this took as the, 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 the target group here. Like this one, for example, 2021, some dude said marketing and sales are two separate departments that need to communicate with each other to succeed. Share your thoughts. And I agree with that. I've seen many companies where the marketing and sales team are just like clashing constantly at each other. And I think this is a good topic to bring up to the people in my network because we always teach about inclusivity and we always teach about like pulling on the same strings and having a brand strategy and aligning your team and blah, 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 blah. Not the topic today. And what happens if you press on this little thunder icon here is that a small window will pop up and it will say like, okay, um, how conservative or wild do you want to replicate this post about? So if you click generate, it will take a few seconds and it will take the gist and take the general idea of this post and rewrite it in a different style. Okay. And... You know what I'm going to say is like, please get inspired by it. These are what all the tools are for. Okay. If you're on ChatGPT, you're not going to take the entire 
output and put it into your uh, university exam and you're going to put it straight into your sales copy and the same shit you cannot do here either so take our new post that has been added here right now marketing and sales two distinct forces yet they must unite collaborate and communicate you know great it sounds good it sounds inviting it sounds uh, enticing it sounds like something that people would take as a small reminder to take on the day i don't know what all these blue weird boxes are here about i think the, you can change them to kind of like the hashtags or something like that but especially the usage of of emojis for my for my personal brand at least would be definitely a little bit overkill of like squeezing one in almost after every uh, three words here honestly how i use this and i have tried it only for three weeks i think is that i'll take this and say like hey i, I really i really like how you know we reposition the structure of the sentence but you know i i don't like for example that they must unite because i sound like a i don't know um, 1600 like warrior or something like that to be part of Game of Thrones, but just de deleting some icons here and rewriting it in my own voice and tone. And uh, then I have a post that will work out for tomorrow at 12 p.m., right? So you just click that here and it will go into your queue. If you go on the top left and you see here, hey, tomorrow, April 20, this one will be scheduled. This will be then posted on your LinkedIn profile. Yeah, as everyone else would see. Okay, I will definitely not post that. Okay, the last feature I want to show share with you guys is the search mode. So if you, for example, type in AI business tools, press enter, it will search all the trending LinkedIn topics that have been mentioning business AI tools and uh, will look for posts that have been mentioning or talking about it and it's pretty similar to you know all the other features here the biggest difference is that you can just like look for a specific topic and then again do the exact same thing of click the magic button here on top and lets you make variations out of it i think you get a pretty good idea of how this tool now works and uh, you know you can also look up industry news it's the exact same thing you can also reach out to people send them uh you know some kind of linkedin newsletter kind of things and you can also engage with people because that's part of the linkedin algorithm that you should be commenting and engaging with other linkedin users um, i think about it was like t twice a day or once a day something along those lines to basically keep your profile on the maximum engagement level to to drive up the algorithm of linkedin so that's it, guys. That's that's Tapilo. I, I just really want to say one more time to, to please use this responsibly. The same way you don't go out and basically copy any blog that you see and ask ChatGPT to sum it up for you in, in a short form content and then post that on LinkedIn. You shouldn't be doing that here as well. Okay. The problem is just that this makes it so incredibly easy to make everyone look like an expert out there. So just be careful who you follow. Be careful who you do business with and see for yourself how much time you can sell. Build up your profile and please let me know if you guys liked it. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.